Hello, welcome to Lizzie's Craft Room and today I'm going to show you how to use the new Threaders hole punch tool and also I'm going to show you how to use the snap fasteners as well. So with no further ado, I will carry on and showing you how to do that. Right. So here is the set in front of you here and you can see now that you've got in the set you've got little compartments for each particular size and all the tools that go corresponding. Now here's the board that I actually used on the TV which sets out all the different sizes um, and I do really suggest you actually lay this out on your desk as I have done um, and then you'll get to know what size goes with what popper. So the three uh, top ones are the poppers and this one going along the bottom here is the stud. So we've got the, uh, the large, the medium, the small and the stud. And uh, the stud only has one tool, the poppers all have two tools. So um, you'll be able to see as we go further along the video uh, what tools go with what. Um, but there are, it's a lovely set and I think when you lay it out like this it'll be a lot more useful for you. Take a snapshot of this with your phone camera um, or just try to memorise it. So here we go, so I'm laying out now the actual um, components if you like to make the large version. So we've got here the, the rubber mat to help you with the actual hole punch. You've got the stud, then you've got the popper part, and each of those goes into two sections. So the first two on the left are the front or the top of your piece. The two on the right is the underneath popper part. Really, really simple to use. So by using this card, we'll be able to see how strong that hole punch is. It's amazing. This card is actually almost like mount board. I'm using the small attachment there, but there are actually two further sizes in the cap. And there you can see the larger and the medium sizes in there. So it's entirely up to you which ones you use. But they fit nicely in that cap there. And that just clips on uh, and you're ready to go. But we're using the small one today. So two little turns, I'm pushing down. And you know what? It's, it's really not a hard push that you need to do. Um, I do two swirls, two pushes of the tool, um, but in actual fact one is sufficient as Leone um, told me the other day and proved. And uh, just if you didn't catch it there, I just poked a little tool through there so you can see how beautiful that hole is. It, it really is super and you'll, you'll find different projects to use this on. So I'm, now I'm using a really thick felt. This is not normal felt. I don't, I don't know where I got it from, but it's really thick. It's probably about two mil. Um, so it's good for using on demonstrations because it's nice and uh, it's like a stiff felting. So there we're going to put a popper right in the middle there and that could be for a bag or a purse um, but this is just to demonstrate how easy it is to go through the felt, put the popper on with a little or no effort whatsoever. So now what you need to do is sort of decide where your popper is going to go and remembering that the first two we looked at which is now on your right is going to be the top. So just put a little hole through there and that rubber mat allows me to make the hole and it actually doesn't go through and you'll recognise that as being I think it's from um, the Big Shop. So now you also need to use this other tool. It looks like a draft piece. It's, it's got, like a, got like a concave um, dome to it. And that's where you put the silver, lovely, smooth shape into that concave part. And push your um, tool or your stud onto and through that felt. And now we pop the, uh, the first layer on the top there. And it just fits snug. It just it goes over that... Um, that uh, protruding stem if you like of the the popper now you need the tool that has the pointy end to it I've uh, you can see already put the L for large on there and it has a number um, and it corresponds with the number that's on the other piece that matches up so although I've put large on mine the numbers are, are proficient enough for you to, to see which one and that's the concave part there too which marries up with the pointy end so all we're going to do is pop that pointy end part into the middle of that popper and get my hammer. Now the hammer is really quite a small hammer. It's probably about 8 inches long. It's one that we use for awning pegs for the motorhome as it happens. And it's the perfect size and weight. We don't need an industrial hammer. This is really just a lightweight small hammer. So a few taps there to get that um, 
pop it in place and what you'll find is there we just another one just to get that in there um, and you'll find that actually the, the inside part that was protruding through has now been flattened around that circle part and the two little parallel lines have remained intact and this is what helps your popper fasten so you, this is, you, do, you really don't need to be heavy handed with this otherwise that might destroy those parallel lines which helps that popper keep in place. So that was a good demonstration, you can see quite clearly how that has worked. Now we have to do the other side and see if you wrap it round, you know that your popper now needs to face you. It's just, it's something that you'll, you'll sort of kind of figure out as you go along. Again, a lovely hole through that gorgeous thick felt. Um, it's, oh, it's just super and we'll put that tool through again just so you can see what a lovely circle punch you've got there. And the other two sizes are as equally as good. So there we are, so that's the set. now this is the second part and again we're putting the base of the back of the popper um, onto that concave disc and you can see it has like a little pattern on it as well so look out for that, so that second part has the little pattern on it. So push that down, it's a tight fit, probably could have done with the next size up but it's felt so it will give and it actually it's a really nice snug fit. So that popper now sits lovely on the top of there. It kind of, it doesn't clip on, but you can feel that it, it's secure. Now you need the concave part of the other tool placed over the top and it fits, up. you can see, that's such a great shot from my John, because that shows perfectly how that tool fits into that popper. And a few light taps with your hammer, and I mean a few light taps, I don't mean go heavy handed at it. Three taps and we're done. It, that is fitted beautifully. That is the perfect, perfect fit. So once we bring that round now and clip it together, and it's a good fit, so it's, it'll, you need to snap it shut. And there we are, that's absolutely perfect. And we've made a, I don't know, jewellery cuff, we've made a napkin ring. We're, we've just secured that first popper. So imagine that on all sorts of projects that you might be making, bags. In fact, I've just recently bought a shirt that has poppers down it exactly the same as these. So this is a quick, now I'm not going to spend too long putting this together, this is just a quick quick tutorial. This takes seconds to do, apart from the fact I got it on the wrong order, but now we're okay, now we're sorted. So that lovely gorgeous disc is sitting in that concave part. Now I've got this pointy end going into that popper. A few light taps, really it's just light tapping, has secured that that is now completely um, embedded into that felt and it won't come undone. That You won't be, you know when you sort of have that gingerly feeling of pulling a popper apart, you won't have that with these. These are super. Um, so now we're putting the other side in, so we're pushing that back into there. That's the one with a nice sort of star pattern on the back. That popper fits perfectly. We've got the little tool, the other one, a few light taps and now that popper is totally embedded into that felt. And again, this is the medium size I've used this time. We're just popping that together. It's got the perfect fit. So now we've done one large, we've done one medium. I'm not going to do any more for you. Um, but you can see how beautiful those studs are and I think you'll find lots of uses for them. But that's, that's it done, that's as easy as that. So it's a case of getting organised, laying your bits and bobs out so they're all lined up properly uh, before you start. A little hammer, please don't use a great big industrial hammer, a little bit of light tapping um, and it's done. So I hope that's been useful and I'll hope you, uh, you join me again for another demonstration. You ask me, you, you, you tell me what you need demonstrating and I'll try and do that for you and we'll get this YouTube tutorials up and going. Okay, so lovely. Thank you very much. Have a lovely day.